Hello, my name is Sue Deliria Dare. My primary residence is in Schenectady, New York, near the state's capital of Albany. My husband and I also own a cottage on the eastern shore of Lake Ontario. I spend as much time there as possible during the spring and summer months because the bird watching on the lake is terrific. One of the places I like to look for birds on the shore is Fairhaven Beach State Park. I often see killdeer on my visits to the park. This shorebird can be found in a variety of open habitats, but for nesting it prefers bare ground, gravel, or pebble surfaces. Fairhaven's lakeside is covered with rounded pebbles and cobbles, a perfect place for a killdeer nest. I came upon the bird in my drawings as it sat atop its nest on the beach pebbles. I took two photographs from a distance so as not to disturb the bird. I've drawn rounded pebbles from the lakeshore a number of times in the past, and I've even drawn 2.5 inch square miniatures of this individual killdeer. I liked the scene so much that I decided to depict it in a larger drawing. My first challenge for this drawing was to decide how to crop my reference photo. On the computer, I experimented with a variety of squares and rectangles. I ultimately decided on a tall, narrow composition. The design didn't need much editing, but I did remove some of the smaller pebbles and the sticks that were present in the photo to simplify the final drawing. I also relocated a large cobble just to the left of the bird in the photograph. I moved it to the base of the composition in order to enhance the illusion of depth in the drawing. In 2019, I decided to experiment with new papers for my drawings. This is one of the first drawings I created on Arches 300 pound hot press watercolor paper. The paper has more texture than those I have used in the past, and it also works better for wet media. This is the very first drawing in which I used water-soluble graphite paint as an underpainting. To create the paint, I sanded down three grades of water-soluble pencils and mixed the resulting graphite dust with water. I applied this mixture to the paper with a watercolor brush, covering the medium and dark-colored rocks to start off their tone and texture. I finished the drawing with various grades of graphite pencils, starting with the bird's eye, as I always do, and working out from there. With a good pencil sharpener and attention to detail, I finished this simple but eye-catching scene, the perfect situation.